I was a boy and lived with my mother and father and someone died in the village the whole village would keep awake awake brought all the people out to sing and to chant people from far and wide came out to join with the dead and to sing hymns to give sustenance to the man's soul his soul into paradise and all were joining the hymn it was something that we looked forward to it was called awake and truly it kept us awake singing singing and singing it was something I looked forward to oh how we sang is a liberating thing. For the enslaved, they look forward to going back to Africa after death. For my people, it was a journey towards heaven. It was sinners going back home. And so they needed a grace to sustain them. And at the wake, we give it to them. And how we love to sing with the older folks. Everyone sing. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline, 
someone is sinking today. Throw out the lifeline, throw out the lifeline, someone is sinking today. something. Even the old will be dancing and clapping. But above all, above all the singing and cat playing, rum drinking, there was singing and there was praising. People praise God for the dead, for the living, for those who are not to get born. love about the way is the fact that old and young used to raise hymns. And sometimes a hymn was raised by that nobody knew. But we learned hymns at the wake. I remember an old man raising this hymn at the wake. Game of all falls, you came over and raised the hymn. Oh, it was fun to raise a hymn. I myself went awake, lost the game. I'll never forget this time. That time I should say, and I came over and I raised this hymn. And all joined with me. Oh 
about a week was the fact that if even you didn't know a hymn somebody would raise the words especially the older guys oh we learned hymns at a week they gave us the words yeah even though it be a cross of your own death, hence nearer my God to thee, and calling for sinners come home. It therefore was a very serious exercise. submission to God. God was the supreme authority. The wake reminded you that you are nothing. You are, as it were, a piece of dirt. And that you are only alive through the help and mercy of God. 
like the saints said, Thou hast made us for thyself, O Lord. And our hearts are restless till they rest in thee. Be not dismayed, what a betide. God will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love abide. God will take care of you. together. It was a tradition that kept old and young, male and female, men and women, reminiscent of African traditions. It made us realize our roots. It reminded us of enslavement, of oppression. It allowed us to survive with dignity. Above all, it reminded us greatness of God. I will cling to the old rocket cross. 
Dedicated to my father, Isaac Liverpool, who understood how great God is, who loved to go to wakes, and who had the wisdom to take me to all the wakes in the village. For that I thank you. Since my soul 